sleep because I'm up doing the things for her eighth birthday. When the doctor told me that she would not walk, she would not talk, and they did not have a clue exactly what her life would be like in her. Um, that's been eight months now. And when I tell y'all this little girl has changed my life, like, changed my life, being that in the beginning when I had my kids, and the knowledge that God has instilled in me had quite gotten deeply into me rooted enough where I would uh, maintain my marriage and just be the strong woman that I am today I just remember finding out about Kamari I remember being pregnant with Kamari I remember having Kamari story of me having a boy. Y'all, it was horrible. And I will share it one day. But I gotta say that the change that she brought in me as a woman, period, you know. Women have kids. We carry our kids. We create them, and then you know, we push them out. And we try to teach them and train them in the way that they should go. My son, seventeen, he's about to go to college. I just remember having him, like, and just thinking like, the world is different. And I just remember saying, "Girl, you got to get it together. You know, you and this little person's other half." have got to get together so that life can be awesome. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I thought that that was the biggest change in my life, um, which it was, because indeed, I love my son, I love my kids, but Kamari, just Kamari, in herself, and as special needs mom, you want everybody to stop putting a special handle on everything but indeed it is it is just that it's special it is so special Kamara is so special y'all she is so special and today she turns 8 and I can't sleep and I'm just up remembering being so scared to be the mother of a little child who wasn't going to be able to walk, who wasn't going to be able to talk. I didn't know that triumph was going to happen because it was so tragic. And um, like my other two kids, they were by my best friend in the whole wild world. And then for me to have Kamari and she not be a piece of him in itself, I was so sick, y'all. As a woman, as a mother, as a wife, as a daughter, as a auntie, daughter-in-law. Kamari, I love you, sweetie. I will always Um, Kamari 
story walks. She walks, and believe it or not, she talks. She does. Um, everybody always look at me and say, oh, Kamari's where she's supposed to be. <laughs> I couldn't imagine her being with any other family, um, any other grandmother, any other mom, any other sister, any other brother. Um, <laughs> and I've never been able to express myself about that. And I promise you, anybody who ever came up to me and said that, you are so correct. She could not have been chosen for a much better family. But I feel so great. And my tears are just, just overflowing with tears and I just can't even sleep. I can't even sleep. And she just ate. Do we have more years? Many, 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 many more years to go. God will. God will. So, people always want to know, how do I handle it? How do I stay strong? Where do I find my strength? I handle it, but God. So, when you're watching Cammy Scam Corner, and you see Cam, you see me, you see my kids, behind it all is a lot of life issues and things that are going on. And I just want to make sure everybody got a handle on it, you get a little respect on it. Because I am a very strong woman because I'm a child of God and I love him. And today is going to be great. I'm excited. Um, I'm overwhelmed. My skin's breaking out from anxiety. Just knowing that our God is awesome. I made it through. I always you tomorrow was going to be special. So, y'all, y'all be like, well, how do you do this and that? God prepared me. When tomorrow was in my womb, he prepared me and said, girl, embrace yourself. Hold on and be ready. Because this is going to be a whole different world of course of ride. It ain't about you. And it's not about this baby that you have yet to even meet. But, you will take a journey and you will change lives. And you will bring people closer to me. So, at the end of the day, God is good. I love my baby. She's eight right now. It's been eight years. Um, the struggle is real, like FR, FR. Like the kids ain't for real, for real. Like, and I'm ready to take on whatever it is. I have to take on with you, Carrie. I love you, sweetie. God has made me sure that day. you will be fine. You're walking, you're communicating. So, but not a baby. And I just want you to keep pushing and know that I love you. And everybody around you loves you. And right now you're eight. And before I blink my eyes and open up again, God willing, you'll be. Into the inside to help you. So, God got somebody helping me help you, Lord. 